Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great. My dear students, an unexpected event took place yesterday with me. Something which I never had thought of. So before going into the incident, I'm actually shivering even to reveal this. So before revealing this incident to you, my dear students, let me just quickly tell you back in 2006, when I was in sixth standard, I had a teacher basically, like one of my favorite teachers. And even I was one of her favorite students as well. Why I was her favorite student? Because, you know, during the school time, the only criteria for a student to become teacher's favorite is when the student completes the homework on time, becomes punk, uh, I mean, if he or she is the punctu punctual guy or girl in class, right? That is the criteria. So those were the things which I used to fulfill basically. So that is the point. My teacher, she used to like me a lot, right? She used to treat me like a son. So dear students, it was 2006 when I saw my teacher for the last time, right? But then last year, when I was in my offline center taking class, suddenly I got a call from one of the coordinators that there is one, there is a woman basically, right? She claims to be your teacher. She wants to meet you. Yeah. So I went out of the class. I saw her and... Like it was the happiest moment for me to see her after like 20 years, almost like 17 years. And the point of her coming to the offline center was, it was her son basically, right? So she, he had entered into class 11th and she wanted to enroll her son into the offline center in which I am teaching chemistry. So she started talking about her son that she wants him to become the doctor and stuff like all what all the parents expect. And he's actually a good student, basically, right? Uh, he studies well, he's punctual, he's hardworking, right? And every student, right? All the parameters which are required for the NEET examination to be qualified, he's fulfilling all the parameters. Nowadays, students, Till last year, everything was okay. She used to, I mean, my teacher, she used to call me at times like, how is his performance and all. Like everything was perfectly fine. Yesterday, when I was going to the center, I was just parking my car and I saw a woman wearing the mask. I could not recognize who she was. I got out of the car and got into my office, took one class, and I came back to my office, to my room, where I usually sit. So again, a coordinator is coming to me and saying, there's a woman she wants to meet. And she again claims to be your teacher. I got it like it would be that same ma'am, right? She would want to meet me basically. So I told the coordinator to get her inside, right? She got into my room and my dear students, when she entered into the room, she was wearing a mask. I could not recognize her. Like her eyes, they were like full of tears. What she exactly did, she took the mask away. And when she took the mask away, her half of half the face from hair till hair, it was not there, including the eye and half of the face was cut. It seems she had a surgery. And the doctors had told that you have to, we have to take away the half of your face. See, when she took the mask away, I actually started to shiver. Uh, even, even I'm shivering right now. I could not recognize her. And she started crying. And she's like, I'm your ma'am. I got up from the, I got up. Like, I didn't know what to do, like what to say. Eventually, I said, ma'am, like, what happened? What is it? 
she started crying and she told me that two months back she was she got diagnosed with the cancer and the doctors had no option other than to take the half of the face out like i really did not know like i i i i did not know like what to do at that point of time i was shivering like my eyes actually they were full of tears and i started to cry as well at that time so i went to her i just hugged her and i started to console i started to console her i thought the reason why she came to me it would have been because she wanted some financial help or something i started to she did not ask for it but i thought it would be it would be the same reason that's why she she is here so i started telling her that i'll send you to like the best cancer hospital this that you need not to worry i'll take care of the expenses and all but she is like no i have not come here for that the doctors have told me it is the last stage and i mean you cannot survive for more than 3 months so my dear students when a mother at this particular point of time knowing that after 3 4 months or maybe a year she'll be no more like what do you expect from a mother i was expecting that she would ask for some help or something but no she did not ask for it she's like wasim i do not want it i have come here for one simple reason that is my son i want you to take the responsibility of my son and i want my son to become a doctor that's all what i want i do not want anything else and my dear students when she told that ki i do not want anything else i just want my son to be a doctor so take care of him like whatever is required just fulfill everything just be with him when i'll i'll not be there you have no idea like what kind of feeling it was again i started to console as like you need not to worry everything will be taken care of and you will be fine also right the point is not that the point is a mother knowing that after 3 4 months like i cannot say it also she won't be there and still she is coming for her son basically right she want her son to be a doctor now you can imagine my dear students the love and affection from the parents which we get the kind of sacrifices which our parents do to bro- to i mean to take care of us like right? i don't think no other person can ever do that be it your brother sister your husband wife i i do not think so so why i wanted to reveal this with you why i wanted to share the story with you which just happened yesterday the point is my dear students when you enter into class 11th right you are the ones who keep on telling your parents that we want to become the doctors right you are the ones who tell them actually majority of the students right they tell their parents that we want to pursue the medical profession due to that it becomes not only your dream it becomes the dream of your parents and when you start to chase that dream in between you get demotivated saturated you get distracted right and when you get distracted imagine what your parents feel at that time see the mother who is suffering from the cancer and knowing that she will be no more after 3 4 months she is coming to me and saying that i just want one thing i want my son to be a doctor that's all so dear students i just have one request to all the need aspirants je aspirants whatever examination you are preparing for the the dream which you started to chase the dream which your parents started to chase with you because of you i really do not want any of you to get distracted in between to feel saturated in between right because it's not only your dream now it's a dream of your parents and imagine that 
imagine that someone who actually loves you right who wants to pursue their dream through you imagine when you get distracted in between how they would be feeling at that particular point of time so i hope you got what i wanted to convey right so please and please focus on your goal respect your parents right give your best shot my dear students perfect and the result that is the consequence basically right the results are actually the consequences so just give your best shot do not keep any stone unturned if not for you at least for your parents who actually love you like anything okay so please and please chase your dream keep this particular thing as the motivation all the time that you have to make your name of the parents you have to make the name of your parents proud right after one two years they should say that he is my son she is my daughter this i think there can be no other big motivation than this to qualify this particular examination right i hope you got it take care god bless you all and love you all bye